Hey guys, I'm doing another video. One of my subscribers asked me if we could go over some, like how to answer a question. So his question was, like if you see the word long, let's say I, on the question you see John Jones, great name, is long a 40, call, an April 40 call at three. So real quick, all that means, long means you own it. That means you did an opening purchase, you own it. That you means you have the rights. Remember, buyers have rights, sellers have obligations. So if you're long a 40 call at three, I don't even know if I said that before. So you're long, if it, it should say one, which means one contract, which is worth 100 shares. And see, the 40 is the strike price. So that is saying that's, if it's a call, that's where I get to buy the stock. If it's a put, that's where I got to sell it. That's the action price. So I'm long a 40 call. Call means I have the right to buy. If it says long a put, I have the right to sell. Remember, buyers have rights, sellers have obligations. Long a 40 call at three. Three is my premium. That's what I spent on the option. On that 40 call, that 40 call, that piece of paper that gives me the right to buy stock, I spent $3 on. But it's $3 a share. So that's really three times 100, so it's $300. So if I, if you see John Jones buys or it goes long, same thing, a 40 April and let's say an IBM April 40 call at three. IBM is the underlying, that's the company. April is the expiration month. That's when it expires. Third Friday of the month of April. 40 is the strike price. Call is, call and put are the types. So a call is the right to buy, put is the right to sell. And then you say at three. That means you paid $3 for it. So you paid $3 for that call. So you have the right to buy stock at 40 and you paid three for it. So in reality, you have the right to buy stock at 40, you paid three for it. So you're really paying 43 for it. That's your break even and your cost basis. So let's say I'm long a 40 put. So I'm long, I own, I own. So I'm long a 40 put. Say I'm long an IBM April 40 put. I am long, own in April, expires in April, third Friday in April. Um, in October, uh, I say October, 40 is the strike price. That's the action price. That's where I get to sell it or do the action. Put, put is the right to sell. So I have the right to sell 100 shares, which is what each contract is worth at $40 and I paid three for it. So if you sell something at 40, which is the strike price and you pay $3 for it, you really only receive $37, which is your break even and your proceeds. Now I'll do one more. So say, let's say you see John Jones shorted a call or wrote a call. He wrote a 50 call at four. So that he wrote means he shorted it, wrote, sell. It's an opening sale, which means he created a position. Now remember, buyers have rights, sellers have obligation. If the buyer of the call has the right to buy, then the seller of the call has to sell when the buyer tells him to. So I sell a 50 call at three. That means I have to sell the stock at 50 when the buyer of the call tells me to. Buyers have rights, sellers have obligations. So I sold a 50 call at three. I must sell it at 50 if they tell me to. But I also got $3 or $300 for um, selling that call. So I have, so if I have to sell the stock at 50 because they exercise it, I sell it at 50, but I also have $3 in my pocket. So my proceeds are selling it. My break even is 53. Sell a 50 put at four. Say I sell a 50 put at four. Buyers have rights, sellers obligations. Sold short means I have an obligation. Sell a 40 put at three. I don't even know I'm using the same numbers because I'm nuts. Um, that means if the buyer of the put has the right to sell, then I have to buy it. I have to buy it at 40 and I got three bucks for it. So if I buy it at 40, because the buyer, t buyer of the put, eh, circular, buyer of the put tells me to do it, then I have to buy the stock at 40 and, and I also got $3, so I really only paid 37 Yeah, I said this wouldn't be long, but I guess it was. Um, I hope that helped. I hope my ADD didn't just go nuts sitting in a car at Advanced Auto Parts. Um, how to get wipers for my wife. Love my wife. Um, if you feel that it helped, please you know, like and subscribe and tell people. Thanks a lot.